We have another story to examine, to learn from the mistakes of DJ Academics and his recent situation with his girlfriend, his friends, is going viral all over YouTube. And we need to break down some vital lessons that us as men can learn from this situation. I'm not here to kick the man while he's down. He's probably heard every thing. He's probably been called everything by his friends, his family. I just want to come in here in today's video and give you guys some insights to some key points that are going to help you in your life better choose people to be around some vital lessons about people, right? So before we get too far into any of that, I just wanna remind you guys just for a quick second, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, like the video. And if you guys would like to support, all the ways you can support are in the description below. I appreciate you guys giving me the 2000. We're gonna keep going up in 2024. Hope you guys had a great new year. Um, so, Three lessons that we can learn from DJ Academics. So recently his girlfriend stole half a million dollars. He claims that's the money she took and that she brought it back. We don't know allegedly how all these things, how they really went down. We're just going off of what he said. But off rip, that just half a million dollars off the rip. And this DJ Academics is still dealing with this woman. As a matter of fact, not only is he dealing with this woman, but he got her pregnant. Lesson number one, do not get with low class women. See guys, this is just from my opinion and my perspective. You guys are open to disagree. If you didn't come up like LeBron James or Steph Curry, even Steph Curry's wife is, is, is playing the fence. But if you didn't come up like LeBron James, that's a better example, where he had Savannah James coming out of high school and you guys grew together actually if you don't have a situation like that and you're a successful guy, you literally can't trust 90% of women. Because you'll never know if she's fucking with you because you're rich, because you got money, because you're good looking. It, it, does, it doesn't. You'll never know. And it could be a combination of all that. But the fact of the matter is, you have too much to lose now to even take that risk at the stage you're at if you, once you get to that level or if you get to that level. So he's making, he says, and allegedly, he says out of his mouth, his mouth, he's making, you know, five to $10 million a year. And he's a millionaire dealing with a girl that has had the cops call on her over, or I wouldn't even, I think it's over 40 times. Doesn't matter. The cops has been called on her multiple times. He's a rich guy dealing with problems from women. Doesn't make any sense. At the minute she doesn't act right or comply, and you're a millionaire, you're supposed to toss her away immediately. Why? Because you have options. You have better quality, a bigger pool of women to pick from. Why are you putting up with this? And this is the thing I hate about men. I can't stand it, and it's gonna ruin a lot of you men if you don't snap out of it. A lot of you men choose your women just off of looks by itself. Y'all excuse the horn. Somebody's being a dumbass. 
but you're choosing your woman just off of looks alone. Now, I get it. Your woman has to be attractive in order for you guys to, you know, have intercourse and for you to want to be intimate with her. That makes sense. It makes sense. I get it. But how she acts is just as important. And I'm going to break you guys' heart right now. The more attractive she is, the more she probably bought, the more bitchy she's more likely to act because the men in her life haven't needed anything else from her except for her to come around and look good. They didn't demand respect from that woman. So she's not going to know it. And that's why he's dealing with this situation. He's tender dick, dealing with a highly attractive woman in his eyes, which is why he's putting up with this BS and he's a millionaire and it doesn't make any sense. Second lesson. When people show you who they are, listen to them. He called a different girl over to his crib and he had his homies, his friends over. They're all having a good time. And DJ Act, for whatever reason, probably intoxication, he passes out, goes upstairs, passes out, leaving his friends and his, the girl he invited to their devices. He found out on camera that they had all had a threesome. The two guys he was hanging with, and it was really a train. It's not a threesome, it's a train. The two guys smashed her at the same time. And of course, when DJ Academics wakes up, that's why you don't get drunk in public, guys. That's, no, that's, that's another lesson. Don't get drunk in public. And don't get drunk when you're at people's houses or when you have people at your house because you don't know what their motives are. You live in a damn mansion with a random woman that you just invited over and your two called so-called friends, which it turns out they're not really friends because they messed up your property because he said in the video that he came out and recognized his backyard was all disheveled. Stuff in his living room was disheveled, disoriented. If they were his friend, they wouldn't have messed with that woman. If they were his friend, they would have left as soon as he passed out. And if she really wanted him, she wouldn't have slept with them two guys at the same time. Because he caught it on camera. And that goes into my, my last lesson. Don't let just anybody in your home. He said this is where his money is. He says he has a hunt. He has, I won't even say that out in public. He says he has a million dollars in cash at his home. I wouldn't even say that out in public because now you got people conspiring, trying to possibly break into your home now. Plus, he says he has his mother that comes and lives with him periodically. Those two things have to be protected at all times, which is why you have to be highly selective of the people that you let allow come close to you. <clears throat> Just like I said with the girlfriend, it applies to friends. You have to side eye anybody when you're successful, you're a millionaire, and you guys didn't grow up together. 
You have to side out anybody that you just met while you're rich because their their motives are probably ulterior, always, probably always ulterior, excuse me. So, what I learned from this, or oh, the, the three lessons, but as I'm listening to him talk this whole thing over, And this is another lesson, a bonus. You have to adapt quickly, guys. He said this woman, he called the cops. The cops have been calling her multiple times. Why are you just now connecting the dots? Why you didn't let her go before? Why are you giving people, you know, codes to your safe? Because she said that she stole it. Well, if she stole it, that means she has to code to the safe or it's not in a safe or it's in a safe place where she knows about or it's written down somewhere. It's all the same. So, guys, hopefully you guys learned something from this video. You can take something valuable away. Hopefully you can turn take this into your own life because some of you guys are going to watch this some of you guys that are followers and be subscribers, you're already successful and you're an older guy and you know what's what's up. Or you're gonna be a, you're a younger guy and you're, you're striving for success. Once you get the success, these are some of the things that you're gonna have to watch out for. So that's my video. Hope you guys have a good day, good week, and I'll see you guys on the next one, man. Peace.